Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm getting right into this look. I'm prepping my skin with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base because y'all know this is my absolute, absolute favorite base to use to give my skin like that nice hydration before I put my makeup on. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Angel Veil Primer, which is another go-to primer at the moment to blur out my pores. Like this joint works wonders honestly but behind closed doors i'm a full fraud next i have to color correct because i have a little bit of bags under my eyes because i haven't been sleeping lately and i need my face to like pop pop for new year's eve i'm taking the best foundations that i own which is my ysl and nars foundation i use these only on special occasions because they are a little pricey like they be hurting your pockets just a little bit, but I just love the way they make my skin look. It makes it look like skin, not like makeup. I love using the NARS concealer and the Laura Mercier concealer combined because they just make it perfect. Like it's the perfect highlight for my skin tone. And I already applied my contour shades just to cut down on time because most of the time you're on the go, like you're really trying to get this look together because you're running late. <laughs> and I use two products for my contour because I'm just extra and I like to do the most, pretty much. And I find that the coolness from one and the warmness from the other, it just turns out better on my skin as a contour than just using one or the other. So I'm weird. I just like the way it looks, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> Now to set everything in place, I take my banana powder to set all of my highlight areas so that throughout the day and night it will not budge. I do not need my face melting when I'm in the club or at a bar or out to eat, wherever. Like whatever I'm doing throughout that day, I do not want my face melting. So this is gonna help prevent that from happening. And I also take this contour palette from Dior that I picked up from Sephora. And I use the two darkest shades in the palette to set my contour areas. I saw Arnell use this in one of her videos. I think it was like unclockable foundation routine or something like that. And I was like, bleh. I needs that. <laughs> that joint looked so natural and it looks so good on her. So I went and grabbed it. Oh yeah, and I don't like to bake. I do not bake anymore while I do my eyeshadow because I just find that it sucks like the freaking life out of my skin. So we just wipe that right on off after I'm done setting my contour. Sis, when do I ever show y'all how I do my brows? Like, I don't remember the last time I included that in my tutorial. So yeah, I'm showing you guys a little snippet of how I do my eyebrows. For my eyes, I'm taking the orange soda and burnt orange from the Soft Glam palette for my transition color. And to kick this look off, I wanted to create a nice warm look. I don't like cool tones. Like I just, I can't, I can't do it. I just can't. Then I went in with Sienna to bring some more of that warmth out. No, I take it for granted. No, I be breaking your heart so I vanish. Soon as you walk out that door, I panic. See, I'm never gonna understand it. You said we had it all. That shit would drive me crazy. Cause outside, outside. And I also ran burnt orange and rustic on my bottom lash line to help with the transition for my smokiness that I'm gonna put on there later. And then I'm taking a little bit of this nice maroon red color to intensify that orange and just bring like a nice pop to the look. And also it just helps to darken it up. But now, to really darken up the look and give you that nice little cute smoky eye, I took Cypress Umber first on the outer corner and then I took Noir. Please, please, please don't go too crazy with the black on your outer corner or you're gonna look like a raccoon. I'm telling you right now, I've done that in the past and I look crazy. I love putting black eyeliner on my bottom lash line, so I'm doing that today. And I also set that black eyeliner with Noir from the Soft Glam palette. Now for the fun part, I'm using my NYX glitter glue to carve out my crease, and I literally have to carve out my crease. Like if I don't, you will not see the shimmer that I put on there. So first I took glistening from the Soft Glam palette and just packed that on the inner corner 
And I really made sure I packed that on there so that it wouldn't crease up on me throughout the night. And then I went into the Pat McGrath Mothership palette and I took this nice little bronzy shade in that palette and put that in the middle. When we get together, she says let's make this open. Relationships are better when you leave out the hoping. Then to define the crease even more, I took a little bit of Cypress Umber and ran it along the crease I made. And you see that little fold right there? That's that hood that I be talking about that I hate so freaking much. Then I lined my eyes with a nice felt tip liquid liner and applied this Hydro Boost Mascara because this baby, <laughs> baby, is waterproof and your girl be needing that. I took my favorite lashes in Sunny from my lash line and I applied those with my Duo lash glue. I used the clear lash glue from Duo. I don't like using the black one. Just be using that clear. That's my girl. And then my favorite part for this look is the highlight. I was really extra. Like I use four highlighting shades. I use the ones from the Laura Mercier Little Glow Palette. And then I use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Like girl, who am I? Being real extra and I love it. Also, if you miss any of these products on the screen, they are in the description box below for you guys to check out. So do that. To finish my look, I lined my lips with this MAC Lip Liner in Cork, and then I applied this peach shade to the center of my lips. And that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you have been participating in my Christmas giveaway, the winner is below, and next week will be the last giveaway. <laughs> of 2018 but then we go on into 2019 like yeah you feel me but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful helpful and hopefully inspiring i hope you have a great new year's eve be safe and i will see you guys in my next video